What, all too common, trait do you find extremely unattractive in the opposite, or same, sex? Anybody who needs to assert what a superior person they are. Even if they try to worm it into a compliment I'm an amazing, discerning person and you meet my standards. You lucky dog. Personal experience has taught me that these people are one wrong, and two completely exhausting to talk to for very long. I really don't know why you're getting mad that I'm staring after every girl we walk by and flirt with every girl I meet. I chose you from all the gorgeous women I could have had instead, my ex. Thank you for graciously blessing me with your presence. I feel so special. Asshole. I'm going to be real and say talking too much. No matter the gender. Someone whose talk, listen ratio is very high. When I say I like something so they tell me they like it too even though they don't. I want to know your actual interests. Anyone who flaunts being an asshole bitch. Why do so many people find this attractive? And then they say you just can't handle my honesty. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Self-pity. Too much of it. Me. I'm gonna stop and get food. Want me to pick you up something? Her. No. Get home. And she eats half my shit. Similar to this us. What do you want to eat? I dunno. You decide. Pizza it is. Pizza. We just had that the other day. Mexican it is. Again. Chinese food here we come. I don't know. I'm not really in the mood for that. Okay I guess I'll just make a sandwich. You want one? No. Eats half my sandwich. Asking for advice when they're really looking for validation. Hey do you think this is a good idea? No. Probably not. Why don't you ever back me up on anything? Me in this thread. Wow. I hate that one a lot too. And that one. And they're not even scratching the surface about all the annoying behaviors I've got cataloged in the back of my mind right now. Wait a minute. Am I? Picky. Wow. I think I just realized I'm an intolerant jerk. Weird. Obsession with sex. If I'm on a first date, I don't know you well enough to be attracted to you. And no. Me saying I wouldn't consider sex on the first date in my online profiles is not me playing hard to get. And for the record, there's nothing wrong with sex on the first date. I just can't feel attracted to someone who I don't have some emotional engagement with. Telling me every meticulous detail about their day, which I find interesting and I'm happy to discuss, but then never asking me about my day or holding any interest in my stories when I tell them. It just kinda hurts sometimes. Like, I have an interesting life too. Please ask about it so I feel included. An intense dislike for me. Call me picky but that's a deal breaker. Girls acting dumb or pretending they're dumb to seem cute. Grow up. People's knees. The simple and tragic lack of interest in learning and experiencing new things. I'm the sweetest bitch you could ever hope to meet. But if you come for me, you're going to see a whole new side of me. So you're a asshole then. Got it. Not being interested in current events but having a really strong opinion or campaigning your ass off for someone or something when it matters. Like, you can't even name the three branches of government but you are ready to take up arms if your favorite candidate doesn't win? Not wanting to admit when they don't know something. I don't know isn't that hard to say. And not knowing something doesn't mean you're automatically stupid. But pretending to know something when you don't does tell me that you're an egotistical idiot. People who present being mentally unstable as something desirable, especially when they try to be mysterious about it. X. Saying things like, you don't want to know what goes on in my mind. It's so messed up. As a person with a diagnosed mental illness, this just seems really stupid. Irrational, dark thoughts are not something quirky or fun. They're terrifying to have and take months or even years of treatment to control. If your thoughts are that messed up, seek professional help. Don't treat it like it's edgy and then get angry when people become concerned for your mental health. Flakiness. At this point if you flake once without giving a 24 hours notice, and I've known you for less than a month, I'll probably not talk to you again. It's incredibly disrespectful to my time, especially if my plans revolved around you. I understand if shit happens and we have to reschedule, but I literally have had instances where women have cancelled 15 minutes before for some BS reason. People that don't ask questions. So many people think they have all the answers. And having a good listener in both sexes is rare. I'm a millennial 25 years old. And I hate it when people promote this I'm awkward. I'm ugly. I just want to eat pizza. I'm petty. I'm a bitch. I'm crazy on the inside. If you date me I will do x y and touch your butt kind of thing. 
The part that makes it unattractive AF is when I see memes and statuses like that all over their Facebook. When they're nothing like any of that in person. It seems like a fad to me. And I don't like it. Saying how ugly they are when they know they are good looking. I see it so often and shit makes me mad every time. Making excuses. Or. They are never in the wrong. I own up to my mistakes. I make sure to apologize if I am in the wrong. People who go through life and always have an excuse for the shit that happens to them. Or that they do. I cannot stand them. You have not gotten fired from 7 jobs in 5 months because all the managers were shit and jealous of you Becky. You got fired because you're a shit worker. You are late for every event all the time. Do not come up with a new excuse every time. It wasn't because your dog was sick. You got stuck behind a slow truck. There was traffic. Yes that stuff happens. It doesn't happen every single day. You are late because you don't care about being here in time. You don't plan accordingly. You don't know why your boyfriend left you. Him can't possibly be because you cheated on him? Oh you didn't cheat on him? I could have sworn I saw you making out with a guy that wasn't him. You don't know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Alright. I do not hang out with people like this. I currently work with a man like this. He keeps inviting my husband and I to hang out. And I say no every time. People like this are toxic. Mind games. Being expected to know or do something without proper communication. Hints at things. If you want something. Just use your words and be straightforward. I know it may seem scary if you're not used to it, but it makes things so much nicer in the long run. On the same hand, obligation. If we're seeing one another, I don't want to feel obligated to see you, or like I have to. I want to see you because I want to see you. Mistreating people in the service industry. When you're being a total asshole to a waiter, or cashier, or fast food employee, it does not make the object of your affection think, wow. He, she is clearly superior to them. I don't care if you're rich, or smart, or privileged. If you treat other human beings as peasants who are beneath you, I just find that so incredibly ugly. I don't like the expectation, among some, that different treatment will be given based on their attractiveness. I am not going to be rude if I don't find you sexy. Also, just because you have a nice face and ample rack, I'm not going to be deferential to you. I treat people according to the interaction. Courtesy and respect exceed all superficial traits. Playing with your goddamn phone while I'm talking to you. Put that thing away. My eyes are up here. My eyes are up here. I've made my choice. If you want to be treated like a queen, then you better treat me like a king. Okay. From now on you're only allowed to move one space, but I can go wherever I want. People who mistake education for intelligence. Intelligent people don't flaunt their education. Seriously. I worked with people who have their own Wikipedia pages and have had scholarships named after them. Ironically. They also have no issues being referred to by their first name rather than doctor. Dating profiles that make a list of what they don't like. People that make it a point of pride to tell you that they'll tell you exactly how they're feeling or that they are as blunt as it comes. These people often confuse truthfulness, honesty with downright rudeness. Also in the same vein, people that never fail to offer their unsolicited opinion in every single situation. The you should know why I'm mad and I'm fine attitude followed by pouting. I luckily haven't had to deal with it yet in a relationship and I don't plan to put up with it in the future. Oh my gosh I have no money. Spends $300 on jewelry and shit. When they try to make you jealous just to get more attention. When I met my boyfriend, he said I don't want to have to fight off other guys for my girl. I want my girl to fight off other guys for me. Stuck with me. Men shouldn't have to keep a watchful eye on their significant others if those significant other actually want to be with them. People who think all the problems in their lives were caused by someone else. Taking pictures of everything for social media. But my spaghettios. The I'm angry about something else therefore it is my right to be angry at you attitude. I was told pretty much that to my face more than once, I'm as calm as a corpse but this is my single berserk button. People who make assumptions and then treat their assumptions like facts in their daily lives. Lack of patience. Getting angry after something frustrates them just a little bit. The attitude of quick anger is annoying and at times overwhelming. When she or he unhinges their jaw, tilts their head back to the heavens, and emits a high-pitched and deafeningly loud whirring noise before ascending skyward. Real mood killer. 
I don't know what to call it but I will give an example. There was a man in my college language class who was in his 50s. He struggled to catch up with the rest of the class but he was persistent. And there was this girl in class who would constantly make fun of this man among her friends for being slow and old. Whatever quality she has, I find that extremely unattractive in a person. Mean. I think that's mean. Humble braggers. You know. I'm so broke after my fabulous European vacation. Guys are always telling me how hot I am I hate it. The people who hate drama yet they are always in the thick of it. Oh cut them out of my life real fast.